Fred, she's gotten her boobies. Oh, <laughs> I'd better go get my magnifying glass. <laughs> oh, and they are so perky. <laughs> I can't believe my grandmother actually felt me up. What's happening, hot stuff? congratulate you for being on time. Excuse me, sir. I think there's been a mistake. I know it's detention, but um, I don't think I belong in here. It is now 7.06. You have exactly eight hours and 54 minutes to think about why you're here, to ponder the error of your ways. <laughs> and you may not talk will not move from these seats. And you will not sleep. You know, Bender, you don't even count. I mean, if you disappear forever, it wouldn't make any difference. You may as well not even exist at this school. Well, I'll just run right out and join the wrestling team. <laughs> Maybe the prep club, too. Student council. No, they wouldn't take you. I'm hurt. You know why guys like you knock everything? Oh, this should be stunning. It's because you're afraid. Oh, God, you Richies are so smart. That's exactly why I'm not heavy in activities. You're a big coward. I'm in a math club. So you're afraid that they won't take you. You don't belong, so you just have to dump all over it. Well, wouldn't have anything to do with you activities people being assholes now, would it? Well, you wouldn't know. You don't even know any of us. Well, I don't know any lepers either, but I'm not going to run out and join one of their fucking clubs. So let's watch the mouth, huh? I'm in a physics club, too. Excuse me a sec. What are you babbling about? Well, what I'd said was that I'm in a math club, uh, the Latin club, and the physics club. The physics club. Hey. Jerry. Do you belong to the physics club? That's an academic club. So? So academic clubs aren't the same as other kinds of clubs. Ah, but the dorks like him, they are. What do you guys do in your club? In physics, well, we, we, uh, we talk about physics, uh, properties of physics. So it's sort of social. Demented and sad, but social. Yeah, well, I guess you could consider it a, a social situation. Um, I mean, there are other children in my, in my club. And, uh, at the end of the year, we have, um, we have, you know, a big banquet at the, uh, at the Hilton. You load up, you party. I don't know what we get dressed up, I mean, uh, but we don't, uh, we don't get high. Only burners like you get high. And I didn't have any shoes, so I had to borrow my dad's. It was kind of weird, because my mom doesn't like me to wear other people's shoes. And, uh, my cousin, Ken, uh, my cousin Kendall from uh, Indiana, he got high once. And, you know, he started eating, like, really weird foods. And, uh, 
And then he just felt like he didn't belong anywhere, you know, kind of like, you know, Twilight Zone kind of. Sounds like you. Why is that door closed? Why is that door closed? She doesn't talk, sir. Naked blonde walks into a bar with a poodle under one arm and a two-foot salami under the other. <laughs> she lays the poodle on the table. The bartender says, I suppose you won't be needing a drink. The naked lady says, oh, shit! Jeez! Christ almighty! Forgot my pencil. name is going on in here what was that ruckus uh, what ruckus I was just in my office and I heard a ruckus could you describe the ruckus sir watch your tongue young man watch it oh. huh? what is this <laughs> what is that what what is that what is that noise what noise really sir there wasn't any noise <gasps> That noise? Was that the noise you're talking about? No, it wasn't. That was not the noise I was talking about. Now, I may not have caught you in the act this time, but you can bet I will. <coughs> you make book on that, Missy. And you, I will not be made a fool of. It's kind of a weird time, but I was just wondering um, what is going to happen to us on Monday when we're all together again. I mean, I consider you guys my friends. I'm not wrong, am I? No. So on Monday, what happens? Are we still friends, you mean? We're friends now that are. You want the truth? Yeah, I want the truth. I don't think so. With all of us or just children? With all of you. That's a real nice attitude, Claire. Oh, be honest, Andy. If Brian came walking up to you in the hall on Monday, what would you do? I mean, picture this. You're there with all the sports. You know exactly what you'd do. You'd say hi to him, and when he left, you cut them all up so your friends wouldn't think that you really liked them. No way. Hey, what if I came up to you? The same exact thing. You are a bitch! Why? Because I'm telling the truth? That makes me a bitch? No, because you know how shitty that is to do to someone. And you don't got the balls to stand up to your friends and tell them that you're going to like who you want to like. Okay, what about you, you hypocrite? Why don't you take Allison to one of your heavy metal vomit parties? Or take Brian out to the parking lot at lunch and get higher. What about Andy, for that matter? What about me? What would your friends say if we were walking down the hall together? They'd laugh their asses off, and you'd probably tell them that you were doing it with me so they'd forgive you for being seen with me. Don't you ever talk about my friends. You don't know any of my friends, you don't look at any of my friends, and you certainly wouldn't condescend to speak to any of my friends, so you just strip to the things that you know. Shopping, nail polish, your father's BMW, and your poor, rich, drunk mother in the Caribbean. Shut up! And as far as being concerned about what's going to happen when you and I walk down the hallways of school, you can forget it, because it's never going to happen. Just bury your head in the sand and wait for your fucking prom. I hate you. Yeah? Good.
actually doing this. That was great, Claire. My image of you is totally blown. Oh, I have problems. You do everything everybody ever tells you to do. That is a problem. Okay, fine. But I didn't dump my purse out on the couch and invite people into my problems. Did I? So what's wrong? What is they do to you? They ignore me. Do you guys know what, uh, what I did to get in here? I taped Larry Lester's buns together. <laughs> that was you? Yeah, you know? Yeah, I know. Well, they know how hairy he is, right? Well, when they pulled the tape off, most of his hair came off and some, some skin, too. Oh, my God. It's all because of me and my old man. God, I fucking hate him. He's like this, he's like this mindless machine that I can't even relate to anymore. Andrew, you've got to be number one. I won't tolerate any losers in this family. Your intensity is for shit. Win, win, win. You son of a bitch. There's one here today. Do you? I'm here because Mr. Ryan just found a gun in the locker. Why did you have a gun in your locker? I tried. When you pull the fucking trunk on, it's you know, the light's supposed to go on. It didn't go on, I mean. I What's the gun for? You brought it up, man. 
can't have an F. I can't have it. I know my parents can have it. Even if I ace the rest of the semester, I'm still only a B. Everything's moving for me. Ryan. Too many options, you know? No, killing yourself is not an option. Well, I didn't do it, did I? No, I don't think so. It was a handgun? Holy shit. What is all that stuff? Do you always carry this much shit in your bag? Yeah. I always carry this much shit in my bag. You never know when you may have to jam. I do that. I'll do anything sexual. I don't need a million dollars to do it either. You're lying. I already have. I've done just about everything there is, except a few things that are illegal. I'm a nymphomaniac. Why? Are your parents aware of this? The only person I told was my shrink. What did he do when you told him? He nailed me. Very nice. I don't think that from a legal standpoint, what he did can be construed as rape since I paid him. He's an adult. Yeah. He's married, too. Oh. Do you have any idea how completely gross that is? Well, the first few times. The first few times? You mean he did it more than once? Sure. Are you crazy? Obviously, she's crazy if she's screwing a shrink. Have you ever done it? I don't even have a psychiatrist. Have you ever done it with a normal person? No, didn't we already cover this? You never answered the question. Look, I'm not going to discuss my private life with total strangers. Kind of a double-edged sword, isn't it? A what? Well, if you say you haven't, you're a prude. If you say you have, you're a slut. It's a trap. You want to, but you can't. And when you do, you wish you didn't, right? Wrong. Or. Are you a tease? She's a tease. I'm sure. Why don't you just forget it? Well, you're a tease and you know it. All girls are teases. She's only a tease if what she does gets you hot. I don't do anything. That's why you're a tease. OK, let me ask you a few questions. I already told you everything. No, doesn't it bother you to sleep around without being in love? I mean, don't you want any respect? I don't screw to get respect. That's the difference between you and me. It's not the only difference, I hope. Face it, you're a tease. I'm not a tease. Sure you are. Sex is your weapon. You said it yourself. You use it to get respect. No, I never said that. She twisted my words around. What do you use it for, then? I don't use it, period. Oh, are you medically frigid, or is it psychological? I didn't mean it that way. You guys are putting words into my mouth. Well, if you just answer the question. Why don't you just answer the question? Be honest. No big deal. Yeah, answer it. Just answer the question, Claire. Talk to us. Come on, answer, answer the question. Come on, don't don't be a on, it's easy. It's only one question. No! I never did it! I never did it either. I'm not a nymphomaniac. I'm a compulsive liar. All right. What about your family? Oh, mine? Yeah. It's real easy. Stupid, worthless, no good, goddamn freeloading son of a bitch 
Retarded, big mouth, know it all, asshole, jerk. You forgot ugly, lazy, and disrespectful. Shut up, bitch! Go fix me a turkey pot pie. What about you, Dad? Fuck you. No, Dad. What about you? Fuck you! No, Dad! What about you? Fuck you! <laughs> Is that for real? You want to come over sometime? That's bullshit. It's all part of your image. I don't believe a word of it. You don't believe me? No. No? Did I stutter? You believe this? Huh? It's about the size of a cigar. Do I stutter? See, this is what you get in my house when you spill paint in the garage. You want to know what I did to get in here? Nothing. I didn't have anything better to do. You said before how your parents use you to get back at each other. Wouldn't I be outstanding in that capacity? Are you really disgusted about what I did with my lipstick? Truth? Truth. No. Doing. Well, watch what you say. Brian here is a cherry. A cherry? She was on a plane to France. I'm not a cherry. When have you ever gotten laid? I've laid lots of times. Name one. She was in Canada. Met her at Niagara Falls. You wouldn't know her. Ever laid anyone around here? Oh, you and Claire did it. What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Let's just drop it, okay? We'll, we'll talk about it later. No, drop what? What are you talking about? Well, Brian's trying to tell me that in addition to the number of girls in the Niagara Falls area, that presently you and he are riding the hobby horse. Oh, pig. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. John said I was a cheering. I said I wasn't. That's it. That's all That's all was said. Well, then what were you motioning to Claire for? You know, I didn't appreciate this very much, Brian. He is lying. Oh, you weren't motioning to Claire? You know he's lying, right? Were you or were you not motioning to Claire? Yeah, but it was only... It was only because I didn't want to know I was a virgin, okay? So, what's your poison? What do you drink? Okay, forget I asked. Vodka. Vodka. When do you drink vodka? Whenever. A lot? Tons. Is that why you're here today? Why are you here? Why are you here? Um, I'm here today because, uh, because my coach and my father don't want me to blow my ride. So I get treated differently because, uh, the coach thinks I'm a winner. So does my old man. I'm not a winner because I want to be one. I'm a winner because I got strength and speed. Kind of like a racehorse. It's 
about how involved I am in what's happening to me. Yeah. That's very interesting. Now, why don't you tell me why you're really in here? Forget it. Let's end the suspense. Is it going to be a white wedding? Why don't you just shut up? Have you ever kissed a boy on the mouth? Have you ever been felt up? Over the bra? Under the blouse? Shoes off? Hoping to God your parents don't walk in? Do you want me to puke? We accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was we did wrong. But we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. And you see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms, with the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain. And an athlete. And a basket case. A princess. And a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club.